Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can create a day for night scene on a budget. Day for night is not something I've needed to do before, and so I thought I'd give it a try to see what I could achieve with a budget lighting setup. Day for night is a useful way of shooting night scenes when you have a limited budget and don't have enough resources to properly light a shot at night. I personally would prefer to actually shoot at night if possible, but when that's not the case, this is a great option. For gear reference, I'm shooting this on an A7 Mark III with a 35mm lens. I'm using S-Log3 with the sgamut3.cine profile. My shutter is set to 50 and my aperture is ranging from 4 to 1.8 for these shots. I experimented a bit with my ISO, but for the most part, I kept it at the native S-Log3 ISO of 800. I didn't have a lot for lighting, I just had a cheap 80 watt bulb from Amazon and an Aperture MC. I filmed these examples in our living room and one of the main disadvantages of filming in here is that it has really bright walls and this makes it harder to control the light. Here are a couple of setups of the kind of shot I wanted with midday sun coming through the window. One of the easiest things to do to create a day for night would be to simply adjust the colours of this shot in post. I'm not a big fan of this as it often looks far too blue. The hardness of the light coming through the windows is similar to moonlight however. As with the sun, the moon is naturally far away and so while it may be a large light source, because it's so far away, it's actually a hard light source. I decided I wanted to block out the natural light completely and use artificial lights to have more control. The first thing I did was to use our curtains to block out as much of the light from the window as possible. I then brought in the 80 watt bulb to start setting up the shot. Without any diffusion and directly facing our subject, this is very harsh. To soften it up a bit and to try and create some diffused moonlight through clouds, I simply covered up the bulb with a bluish piece of material we had lying around. This isn't perfect, but it works as a makeshift color temperature blue gel or CTB. This could be passable as a day for night with a bit of a grade. I then covered up the curtains themselves as they are very pale and I also closed the door which was adding some ambient light to the room. It was still a bit too harsh for my liking, and so I decided to bounce it off the white side of a 5-in-1 reflector. This is already not a very bright light, and so by diffusing it and then bouncing it, I lose a lot of output. To make up that exposure, I opened up my aperture from f4 to 1.8. I could have left it there, but I wanted to make the shot a bit more interesting by adding some colour contrast. I wanted to have a practical light in the frame to do this, and so I added in a candle to the opposite side of the subject. This wouldn't have been bright enough, and so I used my Aperture MC to mimic the candlelight. The key here when mixing colour temperatures is to have your white balance in a place where everything looks relatively natural. I wanted the candle to still appear bright and orange while not letting the moonlight get too blue. In the end, I decided on 4000 Kelvin for my white balance. This of course could be adjusted in post, but as the A7 III is only 8-bit, I try not to push my colours too much. With a bit of a grade, I was quite happy with how this turned out. It's not perfect, but it was a good experiment with what I had access to. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to create a day for night look on a budget. If you want to see more videos like this on cinematography and filmmaking in general, you can subscribe below or by clicking the link on screen. And if you want to see some behind the scenes content, you can also follow me on Instagram. I make new videos every week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.